But you know that this <laughs> land is cursed. The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. So it is a difficult day of plotting today. Um, having some subplotting issues. It just feels like I have too many subplots going on, kind of sprouting accidentally on the on my second act, going towards the second half of the second act, and it feels like the whole first act is like a straight shot, and then boom, we have like all of these subplots sprouting, and it's like slowing down the pace. And it apparently is a very hot day today. Apparently, my pork plants are also kind of suffering, which is why I'm outside. So I apologize for the noise and the shaky camera. I am bringing you out here while I take care of my plants. When I finally move to the house in January, hoping that they do well enough until then, I'll be able to plant them um, in the yard and it'll be a lot better for them. So until then, I'm just trying to keep them cool as best as I can and water them and give them nurturing soil. This is my turmeric and he was doing great and then suddenly this started to happen. So it's just hot, so I'm out here kind of spraying spraying them trying to cool them down um this is my ginger it seems to be doing fine for now and my cranberry hibiscus i just recently transplanted and has a little bud happening up here i don't know if you can see that if it's focusing but um yeah okay so yeah i think that today's blog is going to be about procrastinating <laughs> or not so much procrastinating getting my mind off of the manuscript and doing different things so that I can think clearly about it later, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do, though, is prepare for some Halloween decoration. I know that it's only August 23rd, but I am so ready to just jump into the spooky season and start decorating the house and getting the vibes and the feels of the spooky season ready. So that is the plan for today. And I want a Halloween tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, his head spins. That is awesome. Oh, this is the newest one. This thing here, oh, it, moves. it moves. I want to put it on the Hoover. Oh, it's not moving though, but yeah, it's supposed to move. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably kind of crooked, but I can't really do anything about it. So that will just have to do. Okay. That was successful. At some point, I want to go to at home and um, some other stores to check out what they have. I want a Halloween tree this year. Usually I would have a smaller one when we lived in the UK, but we have a black Christmas tree for Christmas and I'm going to use that one for Halloween. Checking out the kind of decor on Amazon before I go out to different stores next week. There are such cute stuff. Some packages came in and I'm excited. I did actually start opening it and I was like, oh wait, let me grab the camera. So, <laughs> the tree top.
topper. Let's open it. Okay, this is going to look so cool on the tree. And oh, hi, Ollie. Okay, he's very interested. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have difficulty taking this down for Christmas just because I love spooky Christmas and this is just freaking perfect man like can you see this I'm not sure if you can see the sparkles in a little bit but yay okay I'm gonna do my best here holding the camera and opening stuff and showing you stuff I might not open the, open them because um it'll just be like you know I, I I need to build the tree anyways so anyway we have a garland that's gonna look awesome. And we have got something else. We have oh okay, hold on, I have to put the phone down for this. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh how cool. So what these are, you clip them on the tree. So they'll be like sitting on the branches and there's a bunch and then of course bubbles and that's it that is so far all I have uh, as far as tree decor for now I am tempted to go to Michael's at some point maybe not for this video we'll see um Ollie what are you doing He should not be on the counter right now. <sighs> I will clean that later. Anyway, what else came in? I got these, which are 36 blank watercolor postcards because since I am back into painting and I've been experimenting with little ghosts and stuff, I am going to have Literary Love Savannah likes to do these like holiday cards that people, readers that attend the event each year sign up for. And then the authors send holiday cards, Christmas cards, Halloween cards, etc. So I am attempting to paint my own. And I'm also extending this to my Patreons. So if you want one and you'd like to join my Patreon, uh, the link will be down below. And yes, you will get a cute spooky season design from me. Hi, Ollie. He's being very vocal right now. Oh, he's got his toy. Okay, he went away. So, yep, that's the deal. I'm going to get back to building this and show you the results. Okay, so some of the balls came broken. Um, I still hung them on the tree. I just kind of like moved them so that you can't see the broken part. And the, I don't even know what you call it, the bead rope that goes over the tree is not long enough. I did not measure it, but I thought that this tree was smaller um, for some reason. However, I could order another one or I could just leave it as is because to be honest, this mischievous little boy over here is uh, already plotting. So yeah, probably gonna leave it as is. I can't wait though to turn on the lights at night. I hope that the tree will look better with the fairy lights, the Halloween fairy lights that I got for it. So we'll see. I will take a video of that later. Oh, for now, this is what it looks like. So 
so I like it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. So yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take a lunch break because it's like 3 p.m. And I still haven't eaten and I'm getting lightheaded. So I'm going to eat and then I'm going to continue putting like other Halloween decorations around the house. And then I'm going to try to get some words done. Okay, so I think that that is enough for today. When the sun goes down, I'm going to light it up and see how it looks. But I think that for now, I'm going to try to work on my outline. Ollie. Um, and try to figure out that next part of my plot. I'll probably not get actual words down, but this was good. This, it makes me feel better that the house is like, clean and spooky and ready for Halloween. I'm definitely feeling the Halloween vibes. And hopefully Oliver will not knock down my Halloween tree. And hopefully by the time I change everything and make it for um, make it Christmassy, he has gotten used to there being a tree there and you know, anyway. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go work on my outline and then I will catch you in a bit. Okay, so it is Monday the following week. I had some visitors up from Miami, so I did not take my camera um, throughout this whole weekend, but um, I did get to work on my outline and I managed to get 1200 words from what I plotted that needed help on. And it's still not perfect, but I think that I can work on the rest of the outline and figure out this next part um, this week. <laughs> he wants to play. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here and edit this video, play with Oliver because he needs some attention, and then just work on my outline this week and try to get that done because I'm actually, well, I mean... After this week, I'll be more than halfway done with the book, but if I can see it clearly, then I can write it faster. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.